Hi guys and welcome back to another Love Ents episode. In today's video I'm going to be telling you about the Love Ents Hush 2. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get into the video. Hi guys, I'm UK Daz as always. So after doing the 30 day no fat challenge, I did decide to buy myself a new toy. 24 hours before the challenge ended, this turned up. So I'm gonna unbox it now and show you what you get when you buy the Lovent's Hush 2. Opening up the Lovent's Hush 2 box for the first time, as you can see, the box is extremely discreet. If I hadn't told you what it was, I don't think many people would have guessed what was inside. Like all toys that Love Ents send, their packaging is extremely discreet. It sounds really sad, but I really do like the quality of the boxes that Love Ents provide. When you actually get the cellophane off, you can open it up and it feels like a new iPhone box. It almost has that perfect smooth slide out. But we're not here to talk about the box, we're talking about the toy inside, so let's have a look. The first thing we're going to take a look at is the Universal Lovent's charging cable. This charging cable is compatible with all Lovent's toys. So if your charging cable does get damaged, you can use the cable from another toy. And if you don't have another Lovent's toy, you can pick up another cable from their website. The link for that's in the description below. Now before I get to the Lovent's toy, I'm going to show you what you additionally get in your Lovent's Hush 2 box. When I actually finish wrestling with the box, one of the first things you'll find is the quick setup guide and user manual for your Lovent's Hush 2. If you want to see how to use the Lovent's apps, then check out the video playlist. The final thing you'll find in your box is the Lovent's storage bag. This comes with most Lovent's toys. Now I'm going to move on to what you finally come to watch the video for. As you can see, the toy has a nice low profile base. To turn on the toy, all you need to do is hold the button down and wait for the red light to start flashing. To use the toy as a freestanding unit, all you need to do is push the power button repeatedly. This will shuffle through the preset patterns loaded onto the toy. I bought the 1.5 inch Hush 2, which is about two fingers in diameter. Lovins do sell three other sizes, one smaller and two larger. To turn the toy off once you've finished using it, all you need to do is hold down the on off button. The only thing left to show you is the charging points at the bottom of the toy. These are magnetic so all you need to do is stick your charging cable to the toy. So as I said in the video, the Hush 2 comes in four different sizes. The next one down to this is the 1 inch, this one's the 1.5, then it goes up to 1.75 and up again to 2.25. Now the next time you see this, this would have been up my bum. Okay, before I went to bed last night, I gave this bad boy a test. And for me personally, the 1.5 inch was the perfect size. I don't personally think I could have gone any bigger. And if you're a seasoned pro and you decide to buy the biggest plug, I'm sure you're not going to be disappointed. Now, I'm not going to lie, I did need to use a fair bit of lube as I am quite tight at the moment because I did the no fat challenge. One of the good things about it is the base is a very nice size. It's not too big, it sits comfortably. When I did actually get it, in it gives a nice grip it's not easy to push out so I think it'd be really good to use on a day-to-day -day basis whilst you're out and about once the toy was in it is extremely comfortable once you actually get past the knobbly bit cranking up the vibration on the app really does feel nice and whilst you're using it you can move it around inside a little bit by creating a bit of tension on the bottom of the base to get a better sensation if I have inspired you to buy the Lovence Hush 2 or any other Lovence toys then please do use the link in the top of the description. It is an affiliate link, it doesn't cost you any more to use, but it does give me a very small percentage of Lovence's profits if you choose to buy something. If you have any questions, come and hit me up in the comments box below on my blog or come and find me on social media. All those links are listed in the description below. Until next time guys, peace out.